Today I want to show you an easy and inexpensive way to help improve your AC unit. There are several general routine maintenance tasks that can help you keep your unit running efficiently, such as cleaning the outside coils and changing the filters regularly. And different tasks have different levels of difficulty. The one I'm going to show you today is definitely on the easier list. My friend who is a licensed AC tech came over the other day to do a seasonal check on my units. And while he was here he pointed out that the insulation on my line set needed to be replaced. Quite frankly, I knew this, but had been putting it off. But this motivated me to get it done. And today I want to show you how easy it is. The insulation helps keep the line cool when the low pressure freon is returned to compressor and condenser. And every degree helps with the efficiency of the units, especially in the summer. As you can see the insulation of my units was in pretty bad shape. He also mentioned other reasons to keep the insulation in good condition. If you see here, the two lines are touching each other. Through the routine vibration of the lines, this can actually rub a hole in the line and of course the Freon would then escape out, causing a whole host of other issues. And believe it or not, the control wire rubbing against the pipe over time can also cause a hole. Let's take a look at the supplies we'll need today. Of course we need a rubber foam insulation. You can also go with polyfoam, but uh, my AC tech friend highly recommends the rubber foam. For outside line sets. We need some uh, scissors and a utility knife for cutting off the old insulation if you have some and for cutting the new insulation to size. And of course we need some tape. I like to use the Sure VP410 tape. This is vinyl tape. It's kind of like electrical tape but wider. Um, it's meant for line sets made by Sure Tape. That's the name brand that you can see there on the screen. And uh, that's the supplies we need today. Of course we use the scissors for cutting the vinyl tape to length as well. That's it, pretty easy project, so let's get started. First step is to remove the old insulation, being careful not to damage the pipes or the control wire. Just pull it off or cut it off carefully. There's two types of insulation that are common. You got polyfoam, and this is generally good in the south if you're going to use pipes in your attic and stuff. It doesn't get super cold here in the south. I'm sure up north and stuff they'll have thicker uh, varieties. My friend the AC Tech says they really recommend the rubber insulation for line set pipes for air conditioning units here in the south so that's what I'm going to use on this project. Starting at one end, carefully slip the foam over the large pipe making sure it is snug against the wall. Make sure to keep the control wire on the outside of the foam. As I mentioned earlier, if it touches the copper pipe and rubs against it, it could rub a hole in the pipe. Work your way down covering the pipe with the foam. When you get to the end, trim the excess foam with the scissors. Now you're ready to remove the liner on the adhesive section of the foam and squeeze the foam together so it seals. Here I show this on another unit where it's easier to see. I also want to take just a couple seconds and ask that you please click the like and subscribe button. This will help me be able to create more videos in the future. It really does make a difference. Now we could stop right here and it certainly is on there, but over time the sun is going to dry rot this out just like this previous stuff was dry rotted out. And we want to uh, try to prevent that long term because we don't want to have to be out here every year messing with this. So we're going to use Sure Tape. That's a brand name, Sure Tape model number VP410. This is a vinyl tape, a lot like electrical tape. And we're going to coat this to protect it from the sun and the elements. And this is what this is meant for. This is meant for line sets protection. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to occasionally we'll put this in here because now it's on the foam so it won't rub against the copper pipes. We'll put the control wire in with it. Carefully line the tape up and make a smooth or as smooth as possible covering of the foam. You'll need to make several strips to get them completely covered. And then one of the paths on top of the foam, not next to the pipe, you want to put the control wire underneath the tape but above the foam. If you put it in the foam with the wire, believe it or not, over time, it will, or it can, it vibrate enough to put a hole either in the control wire or even worse, in the copper line. Once the foam is completely covered with the vinyl tape, you're done. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And please take a second and click the like button and the subscribe button below. That'll help me make more videos in the future and it really does make a difference.